Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss another random board exam problem. This is number 10. And our topic for this video is spherical trigonometry. Let's have a quick background about this topic. So actually guys, I have done several videos about spherical trigonometry and I will provide a link above so you can check that out. So spherical trigonometry uh, deals with the relationship between trigonometric function. Okay, so yung pagkakaiba niya doon sa plane trigonometry is that ang triangle natin will be extracted from a sphere. Okay, that's why it's called spherical trigonometry. So, same thing about plane trigonometry. Spherical trigonometry is concerned about the sides and angles, this time a spherical polygon. Okay, defined by a number of intersecting great circles on the sphere. So, paano ba nabubuo yung spherical triangle? So, a great circle is a circle that is formed uh, when cutting plane that passes through the center. Ibig sabihin, ikakat mo yung sphere at a certain angle. Pero dadaan siya doon sa center. Kung makikita nyo dito, ito yung center ng sphere. Okay, so pag kinat natin doon, okay, yung tatlong intersecting grade circles will form a spherical triangle on the surface of the sphere. Okay, so dito, uh, since na yung cutting grade circles, okay, yung plane that made that grade circle, Okay, is projected at a certain angle. Okay, therefore, etong side will always be uh, measured in terms of angle. Okay, as well as yung mga angle itself here. Etong mga capital letters, those are angles. And yung side niya is also formed using an angle. Okay, so lahat ng uh, dimensions ng spherical triangle are expressed in angles. Okay, so angular unit siya. Okay, so this is the solution for right spherical triangles. Okay, so paano ba ginagawa yung Napier's rule and paano ba ginagawa yung Napier circle? Okay, so dito, first, construct muna natin yung Napier circle. Okay, so eto guys, makita natin dito that uh, we have here a right spherical triangle, meaning meron tayong right angle dito. So 90 degrees, etong angle C. Okay, capital letter kasi ito yung opposite niya. Here sa ating Napier circle, the Napier circle contains all the sides and angles except etong right angle C. So it is only divided into five parts, okay? Excluding etong right angle. So paano natin malilabel yung ating Napier circle? So ano yung mga ilalagay natin doon? So ito yung arrangement ng ating sides and angles. So makita nyo dito, A, B, C, A, B. So yung ating sides are arranged in such a way that it is counterclockwise. So, kapag na-label mo na na counterclockwise yung sides, okay, lagay mo na yung mga opposite niyang, okay, lagay mo na yung mga opposite niyang angle. So, ito B, small letter for side, and capital letter for angle. Ito yung opposite angle niya. So, this is B here, capital letter, and this is, itong opposite ng A, side A na small letter, is capital letter A, which is the angle. Then, you construct now, the Napier circle. So, but this time, susundin mo na yung clockwise direction. So, sunod-sunod na yun. So, A, B. Okay, ito. A, B, C. Okay, A, B, C, A, B. Ayan. Ito na yung arrangement ng ating right spherical triangle. So, ano naman, sir, itong mga bar dito? What does this indicate? Okay? So, bakit natin nilalagyan ng bar? So, itong side, which is opposite to the right angle, lalagyan natin yun ng mga bar, which means complement. So, this side here, side C, contains angle B, contains angle A2. Okay, so lahat yun, lalagyan natin ng bar here. That means complement. Okay, complement. So, ganun yung uh, pag-construct natin ng Napier's circle. Okay, lahat ng elements that is opposite to that right angle will be denoted as complements. Okay, apply natin siya sa Napier's rule. So, dito na, 
papasok si sine co of rule and si sine taad rule. Okay, so ano ba tong sine co of rule? When you say sine co of rule, the sine of any middle part is equal to the product of the cosines of the opposite parts. So if A is the middle part, its opposites are C bar and A bar. Okay, ano ba yung ibig sabihin nun? So dito, if you're going to solve angles and sides of a right spherical triangle, i-construct mo si Napier circle, then pipili ka ng kahit anong middle part. Okay, as long as makuha natin yung answer. So, dito sa example na to, if A daw is the middle part, A is the middle part, yung opposite niya is yung hindi niya katabi. Okay, opposite. So, etong si C bar and etong si A bar, capital letter A bar, that's angle. So, the sine of that A middle part is equal to the cosine, the product of the cosine of its opposite parts. So, cosine C bar times cosine A bar. Okay, recalling, when you say complement, for example, what is the complement of C? So, the complement of C is 90 degrees minus C. What is the complement of A? The complement of A is 90 degrees minus that original angle A. Okay, that's how the sine co -op rule works. So, how about the sine taad rule? So, sa sine taad rule, papalitan natin yung cosine ng tangent. Pero this time, ang gagamitin natin is the adjacent parts. So, pag sinabing adjacent parts, yung katabi ni A. So, if A is the middle part, okay, if A is the middle part, therefore, sine of that middle part is equal to the product of the tangent. So, tangent of B, that is adjacent, and tangent B bar. So, ganun yung rule natin. So, tandaan natin yung mnemonic, sine co op, sine taad rule. Okay? So, here, kahit ano, pwede maging middle part. Pwede maging middle part si B. So, pag B ang middle part, yung opposite niya is B bar and C bar. Okay? And yung adjacent niya is A and A bar. Okay, ganun siya nag-work. So, any part of the uh, right spherical triangle can be a middle part. Okay, let's try to solve a sample problem so that we'll actually get or internalize this topic. Ayan. Okay, so dito, imamaster natin yung topic by solving problem. Okay, we cannot actually master a certain topic by just reading the concept. Mamaster lang natin siya if we are actually applying the concept. Ayan yung pinaka-importante dito, guys. That is the, the best na pwede kong i-advise sa inyo when you are solving any math problem or any engineering science problem. Practice is the key. Okay, so dito, try nating solve tong problem na to. So, random board problem. This is a board exam problem, part of engineering mathematics and sciences. So, we have here a right spherical triangle has an angle of C that is 90 degrees, capital letter yun. And we have here A, pag uh, small letter, that is side. So, A is 50 degrees. And C is 80 degrees, find side B. Okay, first, gawin natin yung triangle. So, this is the right spherical triangle. This is uh, angle C, capital letter, kasi 90 degrees siya. Then, yung opposite niya, of course, yung ating side, small letter C. Then, we have here A. This is B. Okay, A, B, C. Then, yung opposite ng B is capital letter B. Then, we have here opposite ng A. Angle, capital letter A. Then, we construct now the Napier's circle. Okay? Contains five parts, excluding the right angle. Ayan. So, here, lalagay natin lahat yon. So, A, B, capital letter. We have here C, capital letter A. Then, we have here B. And lahat ng opposite nung right angle will be denoted as complement. So, this side here contains angle B and angle A as well, of course, the side itself, C. So, lalagyan natin lahat yun ng bar. It means that pag nilagay natin siya sa equation, it means that yung kukunin natin is yung complement. Ang required natin is side B, but the only given is side A. And side C. Okay? So, dito, 
if we take A as the middle part, yung adjacent sides niya is B bar and B. So, dalawa yung unknown natin. We cannot pick A as the middle part. Okay? So, hindi rin natin pwedeng gamitin yung sine co-op for A na middle part kasi if A is the middle part, then sine co-op yung gagamitin natin. Ano ba yung opposite niya? Of course, etong si C bar, yung hindi niya katabi, si C bar and si A bar. But we are going to find B, not A bar. So, dapat nandun pa rin sa equation si B. Now, if we let this C bar here as the middle part, okay, yung opposite niya, yung opposite parts niya is si A and si B. So, ayun, pwede natin gamitin C as C is the middle part. Because if C is the middle part, yung opposite niya is A given and B is not given, makukuha natin siya because A and C bar is given. Okay? So, sign, so, sign, co-op, rule. Okay, using sign, co-op rule, so, if C bar is the middle part, so, sign of the middle part C bar is equal to the product of the cosines of the opposite parts. Yung opposite parts niya is A and B. Yung hindi niya katabi. Those are opposite. Pag adjacent, katabi niya. Okay, ang katabi ng C bar is B bar and A bar. We don't need those because we need an equation containing this side B. Okay? So, the sine of that middle part C bar is equal to the cosine. So, co. So, cosine, product of the cosines of the opposite parts, which is A, cosine A, then cosine B. Ayun, we can actually find cosine B na. Okay, so C bar means complement of C. That is 90 degrees minus C. So here sa problem natin, C is 80 degrees. Then A is 50 degrees. Okay, what is side B? Okay, substitute lang natin yung mga values. So sine C bar. So C bar natin is 90 degrees minus C. And we have here cosine A cosine B. So, extract natin si B. So, cosine B equals we have here sine 90 degrees minus C. So, divided by cosine A. So, dito, we have here cosine B. Substitute natin yung mga value. So, sine 90 degrees minus so, yung C natin from the problem is 80 degrees. Yung A is 50. So, C is 80 degrees and A is 50. So, cosine 50 degrees. So, in order to extract B, we have here B as arc cosine, okay, arc cosine of this expression. So, sine 90 degrees minus 80, that is 10 degrees. And we have here cosine 50 degrees. So, let's just use our scientific calculator to solve for side B. So, make sure that your calculator is in degrees mode. Okay, so, pwede natin i-check yun if you just uh, click shift mode. Okay, shift mode, degree, number 3. So, pag naka-degree na siya, degrees mode, then you can just uh, input this. So, arc cosine, that is shift, the cosine function. Ayan, then just put the proper parenthesis. So, sine 10 degrees. Okay, so you have here cosine 50 over cosine 50. Then you just uh, complete all the groupings. Then you just press equals. Ayan, so B is 74.33. Okay, gawin natin four significant figures. So, 74.33 degrees. Okay, so that is the final answer for this problem. Okay, so that's how you solve a right spherical triangle. So, this is past board exam problem number 10 where you can apply the Napier's rule for a certain board examination problem. So, dito nyo guys, ipapattern lahat ng solution nyo. Okay? Sa Napier's circle. 
Okay, familiarize the use of a Napier circle to solve angles and sides of a right spherical triangle. Then you can now proceed to oblique spherical triangles. Okay, yung general spherical triangles. But this time, just familiarize first these basic concepts. The sign co -op rule and the sign tan ad rule. Okay? Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you have learned from this video. And if you are new to this channel, just click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll get notified on my future lecture videos just like this one. You can also visit me guys on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash engineerprofph. See you guys. Thank you for watching this video and see you on my next video.